Good. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number sixty-seven, and I'm your host Darius. A- oh, D D W A K Darius. Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, and I'm here with my brother Jr. Yo, say what's good to the fellas. What's good is Jr. You know what it is. First things first, Fritzler. Uh, second thing second, fuck you, Jay. That nigga Fritzler don't even be watching the videos no more, bro. What? He don't be posting no more. I be seeing he don't be posting nothing about yo. Thank y'all for tagging my name and shit like that. He too bougie Fuck now. Fuck Fritz, man. He, he got a big head, bro. I'm not saying Fritz's name no more. Mark my fucking words, bro. <laughs> no more. You the new regular of the podcast, no bro. No, hell, I'm not. You know this is your tenth episode. No, it is not. Yes, it is. I have like, like, I have like two episodes. <laughs> Jason swears that he's only been here for like like five times. Yeah, I've only been here like three times max. Nah, bro. This is at least I got a count of everybody's now. So you number 10, bro. You might have squeaked the top uh top 3. Nah. You and Jay might be That's Fritz J and you Jay, bro. Nah, Loki, I think Jay might not be number 1 no more. No. Loki. Who else would it be? Either you Jay, Fritz or you, bro. I'm telling nah. you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Nah. I'm telling you. You and Jay are up there with like singles at least. Okay, it's true singles. Or- <laughs> I, that, but- I know you got a bunch. But if you haven't already, follow us on all the socials. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Yo, they've been, our shit's been dropping. I don't know why. What do you mean? Uh, Like the followers been dropping. I don't know what the fuck uh, going on. TikTok? On. Yeah, but the, the views still going good, bro. I don't know what's going on. I right? suck, man. For the people in the comments, don't worry. I even read the comments sometimes even when it's not on me. Y'all are fucking real fans and that's really heat and he really appreciates. We all appreciate we it. All so appreciate keep it up, bro. But niggas who are unfollowing, you're mid, you're mid, you're mid. Stop unfollowing. You're Jason mid gonna come out your door, bro. That's right. Shoot the crib up, chill. <laughs> you demonetized, yeah, bro. YouTube going to think we're like groups yeah. and shit like that. Nah, I ain't with all that. Uh, follow us on Instagram at noregulars.podcast. Follow us on all podcasting platforms at noregulars podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, and all the good things like that. And join the Discord if you want to talk to the guys. You want to go drop some uh, topics you want us to talk about. You want to play video games with us. You want to watch a stream that we stream rarely. I mean, Jason streams in a decent amount. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Shit. And uh, uh, new merch dropping next year, actually. I got Ooh, some new hoodies really? designed. Yeah, I'm mm. ready to go. We got new stuff coming next year. And shout out to our sponsor, Natural Sheila G. I don't got the thing up. My dad actually ate all of it. Shout out to my father for actually using the stuff. Use code no regulars in the Natural Sheila G. Uh, th- shout out to the GLD shop. If you want affordable jewelry, go shop with them. All that good stuff. But to start off with the pod, we got, uh, we got something new. So, oh, happy holidays, everybody. So... To, uh, for all the podcasts starting off, we're gonna start off with the uh, what's this called? Is this like an unboxing? Not an unboxing. It's a uh, food reviews. Yeah. So we was gonna do yeah. some. We was gonna do some donuts, but it was closed. So we found this cookie shop in Union. It's called These Cookies, and the the person that's that was a, like, that's a cringe ass name. <laughs> well, you're lying, bro. You're watching, bro. You <laughs> open that name, bro. You're cringe. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. When I first like looked it up and I saw it was in Union, I thought it was somebody from the high school that we know that owned the shop. Yeah, right. Like, that's like right off like, the bat, D's. Bro, like, <laughs> like first you grow up. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, like the the packaging that shit like uh, like edibles. They do. <laughs> like it looks no, like that. Really like, like, like a little it. cookie shop. But so we got so we got four cookies, and so. They didn't tell me what's in each cookie, but they told me like what the cookie. So I know what the cookies are called. So we got strawberry shortcake. Mm. We got regular milk chocolate chip. We got Oreo cookie butterfinger. And mm. then we got one that's called house party. I don't even know what the hell that is. But these, these cookie industry niggas are trying to go crazy. Yo, they're trying I'm to go nuts. Lie. They're trying to kill people. <laughs> like some of, the, some of the designs, bro, be Laffy Tappy, Rainbow Incarnate, Flash Phoenix, bro. Like, all right, like, let's simmer down, bro. It's a cookie. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, these things is huge. Like, these are at least like a quarter of like no, a, a pound. Great. But, you know, we're going to try them out. Rate them one, two, one through ten. The person at the thing didn't even know that. These these cookies could be ass. I might be saying some some bad shit. So That's just true. let us know. You wanna we're gonna have these days, bro. Looks like a muffin. Looks, looks like, like a, looks like a Popeye's biscuit. Look bro. at this. <laughs> <laughs> this does look like a biscuit. These shits is fat as fuck. It's insane. So now we gonna try the chocolate chip cookie. Here you go, my brother. Piece, yeah, take a little piece of that. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna eat all this yeah, shit. These bro. are massive. Bro. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Let's see, what we got. I like milk chocolate, so I might be biased, but that's what I'm it. saying. If you can't make a good milk chocolate cookie, bro, then y'all not a good cookie chain. I'm sorry for all my audio listeners if you're hearing us <laughs> true like this. Um, uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's kind of dry though. 
It's mad dry. Right? <laughs> it's dry as fuck. Mm, dry cookie, but chocolate ain't bad. Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate, but the dough itself. Mm, I ain't never. Where's heard... the flavor? I know this shit dry as fuck. These thick ass cookies. Mm-hmm. Now I'm kind of afraid for the other ones now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna well, lie. Milk chocolate was milk hit, chocolate bro. was dry. Oh damn! What do you rate that one then? In terms of like cookies and shit. If we have to start off, I don't want to be too harsh, but I don't want to be too. I have to go like six, eight, seven. Yeah, that's like a. There. That's a. It's like a. I give like a six, five, bro. Six and a half, bro. Yeah. That's. You're not starting out too well, these cookies. I ain't gonna lie. You might, bro. That's cringe a, name, ass cookie. Bro. So now this one is. Butterfinger Oreo. Now this is what I'm scared of. If that one was dry, this one gotta be dry as hell. A Butterfinger and an Oreo. Like who thinks of shit like this? All right, ready. <laughs> All right, you know what? This one's a lot better. This one is better. It's a lot not, better. It's surprisingly not dry. Mm-mm. They actually put they put some work into this. Yeah, one. that this one, one I could taste every every bit of it. That this okay, it's not even butterfinger. That's like peanut butter. It's like a uh, snickerdoodle, whatever that's. Mm-hmm. All right, that this one's not bad. I give this one like a seven. This one's like a seven and a half. Oh. And I don't really even like peanut butter too much, like the mm-hmm. cookies and shit. So that wasn't too bad. Oh. This one, all right, this one. We gotta rate it. Which one? The last one. Oh, the peanut butter one. Yeah, you rate it. I give it a seven and a half. What do you give it? Not gonna lie, it's probably it's probably my favorite out of this box. So I'd I'm probably gonna shoot up to an eight, bro. An eight? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think anything else about the topic. I'm gonna be honest. But, I don't I don't know, bro. This this shit called house party. So what it looks like? <laughs> got the telly, bro. bro. Let's look. <laughs> this shit got it looked like it got confetti and like double chocolate. You see this shit? Yeah, I don't really know what that is. I'm gonna be honest. Like, it looks like they just threw about a bunch of shit in here. So I'm just gonna try to get like a bunch of like get as much of the same shit. All right, this. One. What side you want? What's the matter? I don't matter. No. All right, you can take this side. This one might be bust. I ain't gonna lie. This one would look pretty good. It smells good. There's a lot going on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like our house party. Well, dude. <laughs> Yo. They playing future right now. Oh, my. That one's pretty good. I might as well lie good. to you. It was good. That There's one, a lot going on. That one's pretty good. I can't focus on. on just one flavor. Hold on. I need another piece of this shit. Hmm. This like a, so it's like a confetti cookie mixed with like a double chocolate, the little brownie cookie. Mm. That's good. That's really good. Oh my god. Wow. Damn. I shouldn't have read, shouldn't have read the last one so high. <laughs> you gonna change it? Yeah, I have to. What do you give? I'll let you go first. Probably like what you did, seven and a half for Seven sure. and a half for yeah. the last one? Yeah. Because this okay. one's definitely better. But I can't give it above an eight. I might I think this one might be a solid eight, bro. How are all these cookies better than the milk chocolate? Isn't that supposed to be your best insane, one? Bro. It's, <laughs> the, it's the classic. You have to set the standard, bro. You can't even like how do you even do bad? I don't know, they did ask them. Hell, <laughs> I asked them that fucking... Oh, God. So what do you give the house party one, bro? 7-9 for sure. 7-9? Yeah. Okay, but it's not an 8, though. Mm-mm. I'll, give, I'll give it an 8. I'll give it a little... I don't think anything can like, add these cookies to be an 8. Uh, Simply for the name. <laughs> it's a deduction of two points. These cookies. All right, so this one's called Strawberry Shortcake. I saved mm-hmm. this one for last because this one sounds kind of good. So... Let me both get a little piece. I... A big ass piece. Yeah. Yo, there's so many cookies left over. I'm gonna have to give this to like some homeless nigga. No, nah, bro, you're gonna have to eat it. Nigga, like, I'm gonna get diabetes eating this shit. Oof. Wait, I don't like strawberry. I'm gonna take a little piece. I really? really? Yeah, I, really, <laughs> I hate strawberry. But I'm gonna try it. Oh damn! It smells just like strawberry now. Ah, right, you know what? Huh. That's strawberry. It is. Huh. <laughs> Hold on. Damn. These shit's just dry. Why'd you kick back? Bro, because these are, this is like it's stuck to the roof of my mouth. This is not that bad. Maybe because you don't like strawberry. This is just like. No, yeah. It tastes just like. You know, when you have like a strawberry pop tart? Yeah. Or like them little strawberry little toaster strudel yeah. shits. This is exactly what it tastes like. No, yeah. I don't like strawberry, but for people who do, that absolutely is yeah. strawberry because I hate the flavor. So, like, I know exactly. It's definitely strawberry. If you like 
Oh my god, I need water, bro. <laughs> I might lie. If you you ate all this without water, you bugged. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think I took maybe like two sips. Hey, you're bugging. I needed like five. I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> about to have a sugar rush. I don't know, but I get what. What you, uh, you probably get that one low because it's a. Well, yeah, but I mean, if I'm gonna be unbiased for strawberry fans out there, seven, 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 six, seven, seven. Sure. I don't think that was better than the house party one, but I'll give that one like a. I give it a seven and a half. I give it a seven and a half. I think I wasn't too. No, it's definitely um, good for strawberry people. Yeah. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Of course, my brother. Really appreciate that. Thank That's you my so Christmas much. present for y'all niggas. Oh, I will admit though, Arby's was better. Shout out. You know, <laughs> your mom. She hooked it up that one time. Arby's is definitely better. You ever been to Arby's afterwards though, bro? Fuck. <laughs> 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 going back. No, Yo, but um, no, the cookies were good though. See, shout out to these cookies, bro. If any of you guys work at these watching this, I don't know if y'all going to. Y'all might come across this video. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it was it was okay. I'll give the whole thing like a that last the whole thing. I'll give it like a seven, like a solid yeah, no, seven. No, that's a solid seven. Yeah. Um, to the people that work there, if you are watching, tell your boss one name's cringe. Two, work on your fucking milk chocolate, brother. It's the goddamn <laughs> staple of a cookie. Like, let's get it up the par, shall it we? It shouldn't be that dry. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It shouldn't be that dry. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if maybe that was a bad cookie. But there was another cookie. It was called like Snickers. I seen peanuts on. I was like, yeah, nah. Mm. I was like, I'm not really peanut guy, yeah, bro. No. I don't really like peanuts. Peanuts too much. on a cookie doesn't. Not really doing it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, uh, I was just like, oh, nah, bro. Peanuts are plain food, bro. Nah, facts, bro. But uh, oh, I got some topics we could talk about today. You ever? You was lit. Um, so. You've been go you've been hearing what's going around with Balenciaga and shit like that, bro. I have not actually. No. Really? No. You know niggas getting canceled? Why? Because so uh so recently, I guess in a couple of their campaigns they showed like child like in it. And it wasn't like like vivid, but it like descript like it shows it a little bit. Like it has like a like I think it was like a model or a little the model was a little girl and it was she was holding like a doll, but the doll had like like toys on it and shits like that. And it was really, it's really, and a lot of people didn't like that. Yeah. And they started like, they, I think they started, I think they're suing their, their marketing team for $25 million, but yeah, they're, so but they're suing themselves, basically. <laughs> like, Why not just fire them first? That's what I'm around. saying. And it's like, they, I, as, as soon as they did that campaign, they freaking took down all the pictures on the Instagram because people started looking at more things. Yeah. So there was a picture of a girl sitting at a desk with books and on, and one of the books was an actual book that had, um, it was a it was a painting book that in that book it had paintings of like people doing like rituals with kids, like actual paintings. When you if you look the actual book up in real life, so people wonder like what the hell going on with like freaking uh, Balenciaga and things like that. It's mad weird, bro. And, and then people like Kim Kardashian still like supporting it, like oh no, nah, well, she's a dumb broad. <laughs> <laughs> you had sex and you blew up, you're a bum. <laughs> but like, nah, what are you thinking? Honestly, what the like. What happened in the marketing team's head? Because you, you don't just have one person and then they do it. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you probably have to pass it up. And they're like, what if we had a kid holding toys with a doll? But what I don't do know. You if, think? And they, someone had to say yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, don't, I don't know if they was trying. There wasn't. It looks more wrong than what they was trying to portray and shit like that. Because like, like they still, the, the picture's still up. Like it didn't really look like a toy. It looked kind of like, it looked like a teddy bear wearing like a lingerie shit. But people were saying like, it looks kind of like weird. And like they had, it had the. Like, you know, the little handcuffs, the little toy handcuffs with the fuzzies on it? She was wearing shit like that. So it looked really weird. I just think exposing kids, whether they know it or not, to anything sexual is just wrong. Yeah, I know. It was Especially OD. in media. Like, dude, I was just watching this thing on uh, YouTube where this mom has her OnlyFans, and her fucking kids are taking the OnlyFans pictures for her. Huh? Yes, bro. Wait, wait. You mean, like, like, like pictures? I, I didn't know what kind of pictures, but there's a whole thing. You know Live, Love, Serve? They did uh, video yeah, on yeah. It. yeah, I don't know exactly. I didn't see any of the pictures, but she was saying that her kids take the photos for How her. How old are their kids? Not old enough. I'll tell you that right now. Not old enough. That's sick, bro. Yeah. Like, all right. <clears throat> People, we know. All right, so don't don't guess me YouTube. All this shit, I'll blur all this shit out. <laughs> because a lot, of, a lot of people think that it's like a whole type of, like Epstein all over again. Like a whole type of cult, as yeah. you say. Because they think they're doing rituals with these kids, and it's mad weird. And it's crazy because did you hear about that crypto billionaire that died? Um, is that in, why the in Puerto thing, Rico like crash or whatever? Or am I thinking about something else? Nah, that was that was um, 
that was another one where the crypto billionaire actually like stole people's money yeah, and dipped. That shit. Not that one. I'm talking oh, okay. about. It. So there was a crypto billionaire that went to Puerto Rico, but before and he supposedly. I don't know what the the dude's name is. I'm not gonna say his name because it might be go crazy. Because this is actually bad. So uh-huh. so he went to Puerto Rico, and they say he supposedly died and drowned in the water. But his last tweet said that um, it says something about either the music industry or the government is doing, and they're oh, doing yeah. it in Puerto Rico. They got his and ass. They, they got his ass. <laughs> they got bro. his ass. They I'm packed like, him. 100%. Bro. Like the like the tweet is re- mad creepy, bro. Like they, that is really weird. And like right before he said, like if something happens to me, you know what happened. And yeah. then he dies, bro. I mean, we do know. What oh, are we gonna do about it? nothing. I, you can't pack them. You can when you have that much sustainability and platform, and you're that big in media, mm-hmm. you cannot speak out like that. I could do it because no one gives a shit. No one's gonna believe. Yeah. Me. Now a guy who's a billionaire who has platform and like prestige, packed, done. So you think that's what Kanye's trying to do? I don't know what he's trying to do. <laughs> Dude, going on a goddamn <laughs> news broadcast or whatever it was that Alex Jones thing and saying that Hitler wasn't that bad is okay, literally he was, insane. He was wild. It's <laughs> literally insane. Like, yeah, it's mentally ill. You can't, you just can't say things Yo, like that. Yo, he said Hitler. He said, <laughs> he said, honestly, I like Hitler. Like, bro. bro, he said everybody had, like, everybody um does their part into life and, like, brings something yeah. to the table in society. And he said, especially Hitler. He I said, said what? I was like, nah, you're wallet. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta bleep all this shit out. <laughs> I get like what? He said I, that he invented the microphone. I okay, cool. That's, that's what I'm saying. But you can't like this. You can't give him credit props. for anything past anything. That's actually. what I'm you saying. Can't give him props. Period. That's what I'm saying. He's just, what he did with his power is insane. It's it's nuts. But there's also a thing like you you heard. I was watching an interview. I think he was on um. Uh, the Breakfast Club, mm. it was, maybe the Breakfast Club. It was something, and he was talking about how, cause he was talking about how, um, one of his trainers was some MK Ultra like lab person, but it was a uh, he wasn't like he was just saying that. But you, I think I told you about the MK Ultra. You know what that was the I'm pretty sure the whole thing where the government tried to do mind control yeah. on people. So he said his trainer was one of those people, but he was actually like a Canadian like special ops person that does research labs and things like that. Mm-hmm. And he said that he would try to give him like meds, but like like he wasn't like taking on the meds. He kept forcing him to take the meds. He's like, no, I'm not taking these things because like for his mental yeah. health. So <clears throat> I guess and then he kept saying like, yeah, they trying to. They said, oh, they was trying to uh. Britney Spears, you huh? He's like, now nah, he's trying to Michael Jackson me. What's like, that mean? Like, you remember what they what happened to Michael Jackson? I just know he turned white. Oh, really? And died. <laughs> and they, held and named a kid blanket. Supposedly, Michael Jackson died of, I think, fentanyl overdose. Oh. So he was trying to say maybe that's what they're trying to do to him because, like, oh, if he died, there was like, if he dies, then oh, we just love his music, remember him for this, that, and the third. But really, he just died because he's saying too much. Yeah, cause he's really going kind of nuts. I'm not gonna lie. He's going out of like out of this world. Out right of now. the po- yeah. out of pocket, bro. But I don't know. Like like you said, like people like us, we can say stuff because nobody cares. Yeah. But if he says something, oh, he's done up. He's packed. Uh, like if Kanye really says something to expose whatever the government's trying to hide, packed. I, I don't care. I feel like he's like he's like beating around the bush. 100 percent. But he's eventually, trying. one day he's just gonna be like. Fuck it, and then he's like, "Damn, bye, well, Kanye." Yeah, and then he's dead. 100. He's done up. Like, you just can't mess with the government, people. You can't. Even can't. I was, yo, I was watching. I was, I read a, I was uh, watching a video on TikTok. So supposedly there was a guy right on TikTok. It was this year in April. He recorded. Uh, he was in Canada and he was recording like a mountain, like you know, just like yeah. sightseeing. But he sees like a a big ass person, like a giant on the mountain. And he's like talking about it, and there's like like you can see it on the mountain, like it's high up, but you see a person like that's mad tall. Mm-hmm. And then he starts making videos about it. He's like, oh, and it blows up on TikTok. And then he starts going like, yo, I'm about to go over to the mountain see if I can find stuff. And then he's driving up there. He also videotapes like a little um, army base because I guess it was in it was called like Whistler's Peak in Canada. Mm-hmm. And I guess around that, around those mountains, there's like army bases for like, I guess like UFO research shit like yeah. that. And then one other video, he's found like, he's seen like lights up in the sky and he recorded it. So he recorded all of that. And then he was about to go up there to investigate and then a car stopped him. And then he got the car on camera and then I guess he came out, he made another video saying like, oh, this car's been following me for the last couple of days. He thinks it's the CIA. And then, yeah. and then uh, he starts, he starts making videos saying like, oh, everything I did was like fake. Oh, this that little that little giant video I did it myself. Like it was all a joke. This and third, and then again, I think another a couple weeks later, he makes a video saying like the CIA's been, CIA's been watching me and telling me to do all this stuff. The Men in Black is real, all that shit. And then in July first, he died, bro, randomly. 
Like this year he died. Nah. I swear to God, bro. I don't I don't know if we should be talking about this shit. Don't come get me, bro. I'd be ready for moments like that though. But it's I don't know, like they I don't know if they're doing this on purpose. I don't know if this is like I, when I seen that shit, you you want to see the video of it? I think I might have the video somewhere. You could probably look it up on TikTok. Yeah. It's what, like what if it's like a Whistler's Peak or something? Yeah, Whistler's Peak incident, like the whole shit. Like literally four months after just posting that shit gets eliminated, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't think we should ever tamper with the government, bro. Whether we want to or not, because they—I mean, I mean, who like they run it? That's, that's what I'm a, saying. They they run they run it. They run us. So it's like you could there. There's definitely secrets in the government that there's that we don't know about. Yeah. But it's like we would never get to know because, because they'll pack you because they will really pack you up yeah. and just make it seem like there's nothing nothing yeah. to it, bro. Damn, I'm going to bleep a lot of this shit. <laughs> but they ain't gonna pack me up, bro. I'd be ready for it. But oh, I got a, I got another question that we could talk about. So so for a billion dollars, right? Mm-hmm. You're trapped in a so for, it's me and you, right? So for a billion dollars, we're trapped in a twenty story building filled with doors, and one of those doors is the exit, and we have twenty four hours to find the exit while we're being hunted by Michael Myers in the building. And if we don't, if we don't find the exit within 24 hours every day after where we where we're stuck in there a new killer is added to the building until we die we chilling you think so oh you think so Dude, when, my garage doesn't run you said what i don't think he runs he don't run but he's he be popping up in random he places do. i might have a heart attack honestly <laughs> if i pull up on the door and he's there I'm like, that's what i'm saying clutch my heart and just die I think we could do it though. I think we, I think we could do it too. For a billion dollars, I'm going to try, bro. I'm, a, I'm going to try hard like a motherfucker, bro. Like, I'm going comp every like, door, every. But it's like, oh, like imagine that one door is him right there. Like you don't know where he's gonna pop up at, and now we just gotta run away. We, first of all, we got hopefully there's like kitchens and shit in there. What the Scooby Doo, bro? <laughs> hopefully there's like kitchens and shit in there. We get some, you know, get some weapons yeah. to protect ourselves. But even then, bro, Michael Myers been burned alive, shot. I stabbed. know. Maybe Everything. just to slow him down a little bit. We got yeah. booby trap some of the shit. Home bro. alone it. Yeah. But it's like, all right, so so what do you think our our thing is gonna be? So we start so the basically we start off at the bottom. Or oh, actually we don't start off at the bottom. They they tie us, they put bags over our heads, they put them in a put us in a random like like floor. We don't know what floor we're on. Yeah. And we gotta figure out which way. We can go up, down, that this, that, and third. Are we gonna try to go down up or are we just gonna try to just wing it? I say probably for the first two or three days we'd wing it, and then we'd have to get something in order. But you gotta think about it. Every day extra, they're putting a new killer, so they might drop in a nigga that's like special ops that got guns, bro. Like it's a random killer every day extra that we're. Well, you think about it, they're confused too. You think so? They go, What's this door? But they could be hunting us down. Like they see open doors. Like oh, we can't, we can't Ooh, leave any door yeah, unopened, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, we gotta yeah. close every single door. I think we can do it. Though. And like, I what really if we, do. You think so? Yeah. I'm trusting you, bro. You got you more. Like I'd rather go. Like if I can pick any of the niggas, I'd probably pick you, bro. Yeah, no, I think so. I mean, well, it all depends on what I have in my body at the moment. If I could just bring rocks. <laughs> that's enough. Give me a backpack full of rocks and we're chilling. Wait, probably. why rocks? Drop a rock before every door, bro. <laughs> Wait, and I'll know what door we went through. You might have to, but what if that's how they're tracking us? Fuck. That's um, what I'm saying. You're gonna have to like, we have to put like little, maybe little marks on the door. Okay, now what if we color coded the rocks between us, right? Uh huh. Black rock to throw them off. Red rock to say that we've been here. Boom. <laughs> they're fun. That's smart. You think we're good? Yeah, maybe for a, bi- uh, for a billion dollars. I feel like. Yeah, fuck it. I I'd do it too what for we, a billion. What if we get hurt, my nigga? Oh, we're done. Just no. leave me. No, <laughs> Just like, if I get hurt, there's no point. And if you get hurt, you're done. I like bye. Oh my god, bro, that shit would be crazy. You be nigga. bait. And first of all, like we can't, like we can't get stuck in a room. So say we see him down the hallway. What the fuck we gonna do? Yeah, if we get dead ended, we're done. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> We're done. I mean, I'm going. Just, I'm going out swinging. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I'd be ready. No, I'm going. The, for the first one's Mike Myers. You're done. Like, <laughs> if, if you would have said like a uh, like Chucky, all right, maybe. But <laughs> Mike Myers, we're done. He's a Goliath. Uh, Tank. Hopefully, they got vents. Vents type shit. But the Among Us, bro. Yeah, something like that. You get. You can go through the vents. <laughs> maybe there's like little random trap doors and shit like. Like it's like a whole game show yeah, type of shit. Kind of, ooh. That'd be kind of heat. I'd watch that. Oh you would watch that? I'd what watch that fuck? game show like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? I think it's all That's some interesting, dark, bro. It's all some dark web if shit. You think about it, bro. We pit 
a regular person up against something they shouldn't be able to beat. It's entertainment. That's why we used to put uh, people against lions back in the day, bro. It's entertainment. Yeah, but we changed. <laughs> no. Nah. Like At our core, bro, we are savage, right? High key, it. I'll give you that. So I um, think this shit could be going on during in the black in the dark. It probably web. is. There's 100 percent probably a deadly ass game show on the dark web, and I just don't have the balls to go watch. It. <laughs> no. Like there's a lot of weird shit on the dark web. Like you seen like that shit with the Call of Duty uh Call of Duty leaks or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's like a website on the dark web that shows every single like Call of Duty game chat you ever been in your like your whole like <laughs> life. That's insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, that is insane. like there's like hundreds of hours filled with like if you search up your gamer tag, it shows up like pops up your gamer chat. No. So if they have that, just imagine what yeah, other no, shit they, they, have. Have, they, they have. They definitely have the party chats. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're, they could literally incriminate the world. They really can, bro. Like we're just, all locked up. Like I remember I see so the guy so the guy uh, found it on TikTok and like he showed like videos. So he searched up his name. He was like it was like in 2012 when he was like a kid. And yeah. he hear he hears himself like playing the game. So niggas is watching us every niggas is watching us right now <laughs> talking about this shit. Damn, I, I'd want that. You want that? Wait, like you're oh. the files? Yeah, I want to hear myself. I was always just some funny <laughs> stuff. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the problem is the dark web is like hard as fuck to access. Not because like I mean not only is it hard like coding wise, yeah, but like You shouldn't be on there type you, shit? Or? No, like yeah, people like that's what they do. Like people are on there literally just to get fuck you basically. Like if you don't have your IP changing constantly every like five to six seconds, mm. they're gonna track you, ping you. Like fucking send pictures of yourself through your camera, like whatever they can, just to access your computer That's and you and weird fucking either kill you or just freak you out because it's really they, they, they like to do. So, all right. So, is the dark web an actual web or is it just like a abbreviation for like a bunch of websites? It's definitely an abbreviation because there's different URLs and stuff like that. Like there's secret pages and whatnot. Like you mm-hmm. have to click a certain place on the screen it leads you to something else. You have to put in a password or like oh a bunch so of shit like that. So like it's, t- it's heavily locked for like really tight shit. But because yeah. I, I remember Corey used to tell me he was watching, he'd be on the dark web watching. You can, but it's insanely dangerous, especially depending on how deep you go. You will get like, I mean, you want to know what the nigga was shit. watching, bro? I don't know if he was lying to me, bro. I feel like he was lying. I think he's a freak. Corey's a fucking freak. Say he's seen- yeah, he's probably right. <laughs> he's probably right. Like, I feel like that's not even like at the like the lower levels. It's no, probably like I, on the top. That's the, the tip of the iceberg. Bro, I heard there was like a like a actual like Squid Games like live. I'd watch. What I would watch, fuck? but like it's fucked up. It is, but I'd watch. It's interesting. It is, bro. You want to see people fight, but like no. um, <laughs> these niggas fight them for their lives, bro. Like what the fuck? Yeah, no, it is fucked up. But like it's not me, so like you know. Uh, type shit, type yeah. shit. Oh my god, that's bro. terrible. It really is terrible. But like. like like I remember, me and Jordan issues to watch hella videos of like dark web things when we was at his house. Yeah. There was like there's always this one where I don't know if you you probably seen it before. It was like a video of a girl like mad close to a camera with like her face like tied up, and then you just see something crawling behind her. Yeah. But that shit creeped me the fuck out. Bro, bro. people get paid insane amounts of money because like obviously they shut up these live shows and people have to pay to watch or mm-hmm. just donate whatever. Bro, it's just rich people and hackers that just have stupid amount of money to do crazy shit. Yeah, for a payout or because they're just sick. just they're just bored. I feel yeah. like niggas do that shit because they're bored. Like yeah. hella niggas, like a lot of hackers be on the dark web just because like I'm don't just got nothing else to do. They can. Like I know, yeah. I've, I, you know, how many transactions probably go through the dark web oh, and shit like that. Fucking crazy. That probably actually I don't know because like I mean the government hires like insane hackers. People mm-hmm. who could break the government firewall, they usually hire instead of like put them in jail. Oh yeah, I mean I was I'll guess that because yeah. you could have use for these niggas honestly. Mm-hmm. So do you think every hacker works for the government? Not you every, because some just refuse. They don't want to. They want to fuck the government. Mm. But obviously, there's some that are just doing it because it's their hobby. It's what they love to do. They're good at it. And the government's like, yo, you want to like do it for us or you're going to go to jail? They go, sure, why not? Wow. Which I'm saying. So I, honestly, the government probably is monitoring the dark web. But what could they really do to stop them? I feel like they just monitor just to make sure they don't do nothing crazy. Yeah. Like make sure there's no like transactions of nuclear weapons. Yeah, sure. Like, that. like they probably only care about government shit. They go, oh. Squid games in real life. I know they see, oh, you know, a little, ch- a little, ch- yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just, just helping, light. helping the economy. Yeah. Niggas is crazy. Yeah. They <laughs> probably don't care about that nah, shit. Nah, they bro. definitely don't. They definitely don't. But, all right, I got, I got another question. So, would you rather try to survive for a year? So, would you rather try to survive for a year in the prehistoric period or a year in World War II? No, World War prehistoric, II. Prehistoric, bro. <laughs> no. That's World a fact. War II is crazy. Ah. Bro, they were just doing whatever they wanted bro i'm telling you bro the, the u.s tweaked i don't care like i yeah u.s they fucked us first but like bro they tweaked japan bombed you know a couple ships 
fucked up, terrible. Don't bring us in. Niggas dropped two nukes. I know. On just two random cities. Wasn't even like bombing their bases. Literally just, said, <laughs> just oh, I bet watch this. And just dropped them. Like, fuck it. So but so you'd rather be with the dinosaurs trying to survive a year. I feel year. like there's a better chance of survival. Oh my god. I don't want to go to the draft. I, I simply don't yeah, want like, so to. So at this so with this, you're in the war. So yeah. you gotta survive battles. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you're done, bro. Like you know how lucky you had to be to survive World War Two, bro. Yeah, I know. You, it all these there was heroes. Don't get me wrong. These people that actually fought out there and somehow made it back. Mm-hmm. Niggas who survived are lucky. Bro, as there's niggas. Fuck. Niggas like you and me just go out there with yeah, no done. training. No, <laughs> with no you're training. You're done. I mean, like, dude, the fucking the whole Normandy D Day shit. Oh no, I'm not. Imagine surviving being that. the first wave. Oh, I'm not surviving. They literally like, yo, you have to storm this beach. You're like the first people on the beach. You're dead. You know you're dead. I'm not gonna lie. That was the, there's had to been another way. <laughs> <laughs> There's had to be right. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care what you just fucking bomb them or something. That's I don't know. I'm do saying. anything. That's why I'm saying all this shit is just a strategy. I swear. I swear to God. There's no way in hell there was no other way than just to just go straight in their faces. The fucking beat up the middle. Like you can't yeah. just drop bombs. And they, and they knew you were coming. That's like, what I'm saying. Like there's no other way. You can't go around. Can't go to the side flank. Like something. niggas just said. You know, let's let's, let's all come from <laughs> one direction. Actually, I don't know the logistics or how they did it, but like. Why? From the movie, all I seen was boats came up to the beach, opened yeah. the door, just, that was lit it. them you up. Just, you just ran forward. So we're going to test our luck with the with yeah, the Tyrannus. I, we have to. But they had freaking plants that could kill you. <laughs> like, did you ever realize? Bro, if the, the cavemen could do it, I know I can't. But we're oh, not wait, cavemen. Oh, wait, we're all lying. That cavemen? Was... No, because someone <laughs> fried me in the fucking comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, cavemen didn't exist when dinosaurs did. Fuck you, you're a loser. Like, who knows that? <laughs> Everybody thinks a caveman dinosaur. You're a fucking bum. You were right, though. But, um, yeah, so you're like the, like the first human type shit. You won't last. I don't think you'll last like two weeks, bro. <laughs> it's longer than I'd last in fucking World War II. <laughs> bro, I'm not going to lie. If I was in war, I'd be so pussy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, there's, there's no point for me to die, Like bro. I would fuck the country. There's <laughs> no point. Like, I'm... All right, so... Bro, I got to fix... For a year, bro. I'm going to die either. I want to say World War II just to test my luck. Maybe you do have a better chance of surviving World War Two, but it's time. just because you don't. Because in the prehistoric time, all right, you drop down. Nigga, you playing Minecraft? <laughs> yeah, <I know laughs> you got to start from scratch. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll do this. So for for the prehistoric period, I'll give you a knapsack, a survive. We'll give we'll give you a survival kit that will last you a month. I think I'm terrible at actually surviving. I think I know the <laughs> fundamentals of it. I think I know what to do, but can I apply it? No. No. You can't apply it. Dude, I'm going to go pick a berry and die because it's poisonous. Like, I can't tell you what's poisonous and what it is, and I'm done. That's what I'm saying, so bro. So maybe, maybe World War II. But then you get trenches and The, the trenches gas. wasn't World War II, was it? Was that? No, maybe that was it was World War I. Yeah, that was, was it. Yeah, trench warfare was World War I. But World War II. Okay, so we're thinking. We're talking... What was do you do you know what the first war was first battle was? I have no idea. It wasn't D Day. I have no idea what the first battle so, was. So okay, if we go through D Day, if we make it on the beach, we're lucky uh, as fuck. If we go to D Day, I think we're dead. <laughs> like, I think we're dead, bro. <laughs> like 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 <laughs> people who made it out, I don't know. Like, I don't know how you did it. Like imagine you go back in time and they're like, all right, we're shipping you to D Day. Nobody knows what's about to happen but you. <laughs> I'd I'd literally scream and have a panic attack until they put me in a straight jacket and locked me up. Cause like I'd be like, please don't storm that beach, guys. Please. <laughs> I will find a way to like, I will find a way to like get around it. Like, yo, and it was like drowning in that shit, bro. Yeah. I mean, the whole like ocean was filled with blood. Uh, no, nah, I still don't know how we survived that. I don't know. That uh, freaking hacksaw ridge. Yeah. That was nuts too. I don't understand that. But I, well, I'm assuming the obvious. I was about to say I don't know if that was like actually what happened, dude. Just a rope going up a, a mountain. That's it. I know, right? That's that's the only, the only way up and down. You telling me you're you, nuts. There's, I'm telling you, the, the U.S. plan this shit with all wars is all planned out, bro. I feel like every war is planned out. Maybe like this. This is gonna happen this way. This is gonna happen this way. Cause there's other ways to stop casualties. Yeah. But they're just like nah. You know, we can kill a couple people. I think, it's maybe, I think maybe maybe it's like a pride thing. Maybe they're like, all right, bet. Watch this. I'll send. 50 oh niggas. yeah, definitely. Most like definitely during like the freaking colonial wars that was definitely a pride thing yeah they're like fuck it we'll send a hundred bet watch this oh you call me a bitch all right i'm gonna we're gonna send we're gonna go to war now yeah like like talking about um like even with the war like in afghanistan i feel like all that shit was like set up bro because there's no way we should have ran away for them niggas with ak's bro 
Yeah, apparently they couldn't aim for shit either. That's what apparently I'm saying. They're, like, they're, they're just shooting. That shit from the hip. They're just, <laughs> <laughs> yo, like you telling me, and then we just up and leave and give them helicopters, give them, give them all this yeah, shit. Yeah, was that just a little weird? That's you were there for a very long time. You were there for what? what? Almost ten years? Yeah, very long. time. Almost ten years. Just to be like, all right, well, friends. Friends, no. oh here, no. Let me let me let's leave now. Leave them all these they, missiles, bro. They weren't even doing it for a good reason. We were doing it to defend. These niggas really just like my God says to kill you people. That's, that, that's it, bro, like, You're like, fucking nuts. This shit was all set up from the nine eleven to the war. All this shit had to been set up because there's no way in hell, bro. I was thinking about nine eleven today. Really? Because <laughs> like, uh, you know when you're a kid, you're like, haha, nine eleven, plain funny, right? Bro, I was thinking about not so funny, bro. I, I tried to imagine myself in every position. I was like, what if I was a passenger? Knowing I'm about to die, the, the view is insane. And I was like, wait, what if I was actually the terrorist myself flying into the tower knowing I'm about to die? I was like, that's pretty shitty. I'm like, what if I'm just sitting in the tower watching a fucking plane come at me? I'm like, dude, this is terrible. Like oh. Every aspect of the situation seems so miserable and scary, bro. Like, oh, dude. So that's what you was thinking about today? Yeah, I was, I was actually, yeah, I was using the bathroom. I was just thinking... <laughs> <laughs> wow that's some crazy shit yeah bro. i don't know what caused me to think that but like what the fuck rest bro? in peace yeah rest you in know peace i used always. to make jokes not so funny anymore yeah bro rest in peace always so 9 11 yeah. the tri-state era Jesus we was christ but i'm thinking all that shit was all set up just no, to, had be. to be I, well the whole like conspiracy that i think some you know it's partially true i don't know exactly what is and what isn't but there's no way that you just allow dudes that's what it was i was holding a box cutter yeah uh, i was at work earlier and i thought about whatever at work when i was at home and that's what made me think about. It. I was like, how do you, how did how did a fucking couple of guys with a box cutter take over an entire plane? Everybody on the plane's fucking K pussy. Was like, <laughs> again, sorry, rest in peace. But like, what possesses you to think that it's either I fly into the towers or I get stabbed and maybe save some fucking lives? Like, why is everybody on there like, Ooh. like, bro? They didn't have guns, bro. If you all swarm them, they're fucked. They didn't have guns. No, I'm pretty sure they said box cutters. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Is that's, that, that's, that what took over 9-11? I don't know. Maybe. I'm, I thought I'm they had... I'm fairly certain it was a box cutter. That's crazy if yeah, that's the let, case. Let me go up because I, I don't want to be ignorant. <laughs> but I'm almost a thousand percent sure it was, it's literally... Box cutters? Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me what look at What weapons did they use to hijack? That's OD. Box cutters is crazy. Barely certain. It's not clear what they use except for knives and razor blades. That's it. So, who's stopping <laughs> That's 90 whatever passengers on a plane just tackling and trying to do something? Sure, people are going to die. But look how much you could have saved, bro. That's true. Just think about it. That shit started the whole thing. An entire fucking thing, bro. An entire war. And then we now we just up and leave these people that just... That's they're what, farmers. That's what I'm saying. If you think about it... They're farmers. Maybe they wanted the fucking war because why... How, again, how do you allow that? How does that get by? Or maybe you just needed a reason to go attack them. That's what, that's that what I'm saying. But it's like, why would we go to them? They're farmers. Yeah. They don't care. No. Like, they just... they lose, like, like you said, they say, Allah said, kill Americans. They're going to go do it. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense. And now we're just going to up and leave, give them all the resources, basically. That's basically us just giving them resources without us, like, literally giving it to them. Yeah. We're just be like, all right, you know, we're just going to leave it here because yeah. we can't bring it all. Like, yeah. People, this is crazy, bro. The war, wars is not necessary. War is only good for money. True. Just to gain money, help the economy out. Shit, we might go in one now. You see the recession? If we go to the depression, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, freaking, the history repeats itself, bro. Constantly. Back in the 20s, 1920s, the recession, depression came in 1930s. World War II happened in 1904. So if it's 2040 and we go to war with Russia or some shit like that, you know why, bro. I pray to God we don't. I'm not going. I just want to relax. I say it. I say it every month on this podcast. I'm not going to war. I'm not, I'm not I just, going. I just want to play video games. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna file for. Uh, what's that called? Mental health reasons. Yeah. Or I'm gonna go to jail. I, like, the, or I'm gonna flee the country. Like, Honestly, I'm just gonna be like, I'm. I already served my country. I'm good. <laughs> like, what they called you back? I'd be like, no. <laughs> like, no. Nah, I'd have to I'm go. good, Fuck, bro. I'm bro. cool off that, bro. They're, like, that, I'm a waste of space. Yeah. You can find somebody in the gym. That can, that's way better than me. Like, I, nah, bro. Yeah, niggas like Victor, bro. They'll go happily, bro. Some <laughs> niggas like that, bro. Those niggas are out of their minds. Yeah, bro. Like, go ask other niggas, bro. Not me. But, all right, I got another thing that we could do. So, can we survive these game shows if it was for our lives? Mm-hmm. Right? So, just me and you. So, the first one is Fear Factor. <laughs> I'm not eating a bug. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's for your life, bro. I'm not eating you a bug. You got to survive every round, bro. Bro. 
the guy. I used to always watch Fear Factor, like growing up, and I was like, I can do that, I can do that. And then they put bugs in the mix, like a done. Okay, case. what if it's what if it's not like eating a bug? What if it's like just sitting in like a I a can't. coffin full of spiders? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I actually think I'd rather die. I think I'd rather die. <laughs> yeah, I can't, dude. They're so just vile creatures of disgustingness. Everything else that they eat. Okay, what if it's like you had to eat like 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 uh cow testicles? Okay. You do that, right? Yeah, no problem. I, what what would what would freak me out is like if they had like those little like stunts where like you're like in a car locked up you got your those are kind of nuts and you I'm go in the water lie. yeah but I think I can do it but those are really fucking nuts that's what I'm saying bro like, like imagine there's no standby like if you really like if you don't escape you're dead I feel like I could do it so you think we could do Fear Factor dude I can't vis- I can't even visualize me picking up a bug and putting it in my mouth I just can't. I mean, that's, in some places, that's a delicacy. Yeah, I know, and they're fucking freaks. And they think about the places like, fuck, mm, let me not name drop. Oh. Disrespect anybody's culture. But you guys are fucking, like, mm, <laughs> freaks, freaks, freaks. So you don't think so? Oh, I, I, For my life, I think I would. I'm going a, I'm to a try my hardest. But if it comes to that stunt, it might be deep. <laughs> like, that stunt, I'm not going to lie, like, where we're going to, where we got to try to get out of, like, yeah. being sinking. Or, like, if I'm, if we're, like, on a highway, got to jump cars and shit, I might die. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna get. I think I can try my hardest to get through that one. I think I think we might be able to. I, I think there's there's more than a fifty percent chance we make it. Okay, 100%. okay. The next one is wipeout. So basically, if you, I fall, I'm dead. No, not if you fall, oh, you're dead. How about this ever done? <laughs> you have like, let me think. Because you know how wipeout is like rounds. Yeah. So you have, you get, twelve hours to uh, to go through every round. I could do that. You think you do that? Yeah. Like for even sure. if you fall, you're still cool. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think now American Ninja Warrior might be packed. Nah, hell no. Might be packed. Hell no. <laughs> that was actually the next one. American Ninja uh, Warrior. They're packed. You think so? They're oh, packed. That's uh, hard. No, actually, you gotta be really like that. Shit fit. is insane. Even like, for you, cause you you yeah, look. Yeah, no, I like all that monkey shit, but dude, it is insane. Like that, like even like the um the the original. Yeah, like from no, the one in like, Japan, that one I don't think I'll be able to insane. do that. Insane. Like the like I don't think the kid realized like the American one is like the downgrade mm-hmm. version. The ones in that used to be on MTV in Japan, they used to do. Remember that little monkey shit used to go yeah, up it's, high it's, as hell. Um, what do you call it? It's famous for a little bit. It's like salmon shit. Yeah, the salmon ladder. Yeah, I can't. I wouldn't be able to do that. That's no, insane. The warp wall be like forty feet. Yeah, no, dude. The well, one like, I, I'd be I'd be proud of the one at Sky Zone, and it's like twelve <laughs> feet. That's what I'm saying. There, there's be like twenty five. <laughs> yeah, no. You I think you think, think we're done up? Packed. If it, if we have twelve hours to fit, to go through each level, so there's three levels. Because it gets way it gets harder. way harder after each level. I don't know. You don't think so? No. All right, all right, all right. So the next one is Wheel of Fortune. So basically, it's I've me. I've never even seen it. So it's basically me and you playing. It's like you have to like guess the word, but you have to like you have like chances, like spin oh, the wheel. Oh, that one. I'm yeah. really stupid. Unfortunately, <laughs> when it comes to actual <laughs> English. Um. How many chances do we get? We we got. I think it's probably three chances. <laughs> but like, I think you have to spin the wheel. You get more chances. Okay. okay. But like, it's it's really a game of luck, low key. Then and fuck it. Yeah, I think we got it. You think so? Yeah. I think we got a better one than the other, than uh low key. Maybe now. Nah. Yeah, I think this we got a better chance than wipeout high key. Really? I think we could. I think we could figure out the wipeout word. doesn't look that hard. It's not that hard, but it's like that shit's. That shit's still kind of like like oh, yeah. think about we're contestants. Yeah, it's endurance. So now yeah, you have to get through that, and then remember that one where you have to like jump over the shit and you gotta battle niggas. Like there's oh, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to survive that, and then at the end where you gotta get through that whole shit, there's like soap everywhere. <laughs> I think I do. Like I right. do think I could do it, but yeah, maybe we have a better chance of real. Let's we'll see. Fortune. All right, so the, and then the next one is a uh, <laughs> is a survivor. No, we're done. <laughs> Pack. Bro, I've so, watched it, dude. <laughs> Those motherfuckers are out of their mind. They're freaking sick. I'm not no. gonna lie. That's like Fear Factor on steroids. <laughs> no, I couldn't. That's like, that's like battles and eating nasty shit. So you have to. So you have to go. We're going up against. So me and you as yeah. a team, we're going yeah. up against other. We're packed. Athletes. <laughs> we're packed. Because there'd be some sickos on that show. Yes. That love it. Like they're that, they're the, down for. It. And then nobody knows that we're. This is for our lives, bro. But problem is right in Survivor. This you know the whole. Psychologically building a friendship game, mm-hmm. we can might we might finesse yeah. that. We could finesse the shit. We could That's finesse cool. that. We really could. But I don't know how much that would take us. Like how yeah, far it that only would take, take us. us so far because we also have to win challenges, and yes. they're not just all physical. Some are like crazy puzzles and whatnot. Yes, yes, that, dude. Uh, 
and I mean that one. So Survivor is like a, a weekly thing. Yeah. So like we got more time to try, yeah. but like if we're out, we're dead. Bro, if we get voted out, <laughs> we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> we're dead. You, so, know th- you know, I think it went Survivor on a side note. Chris, manipulate really? the fuck. I don't yeah. think he can make it that far though. He can manipulate everybody. He can manipulate, but I feel like he's gonna he's gonna do it too much for people gonna get beyond. True. To him. You know what I'm saying? You can, you have to do it to a certain yeah, extent. Just something like that. Like you can't go overboard. That is true. Like like type shit. Like um, you ever watch The Circle on Netflix? Yeah. It's like that. You can't go okay. too yeah. much manipulative. Like you have to do it at the right time. Yeah. But him, I don't know if he can make it. Like especially with the challenges, they're gonna say, like, yo, he's just Oh, Chris is packed on challenges. That's what I'm saying. So they're gonna look at him like, oh, yeah. he just he thinks we're friends. He's just doing yeah. this because he can't survive. Yeah, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but and then the last one is naked and afraid. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm it's basically gonna, I'm not even gonna entertain the thought. So three weeks in the in the wilderness, not even butt ass day, naked. Not even two days for your life, bro. Do you see how much they be going through it? They do go they through be it. Shaking at night, they can't. They get maybe <laughs> like two hours of sleep, getting bit up by bugs, shaking, cold, rain. How do, do they wipe, bro? I don't. Oh, I know some. I'm not gonna lie. I know some girls be getting like infections. I have to. They oh have oh to be, yeah. oh my god. See, all right. You know what? Three. Okay, so it's, I think it's three weeks in the wilderness, no clothes. No. no, just watch an episode and you'll see why I'm saying that. I I see no. episode. <laughs> I don't want to, but you gotta you got. They are insane. Oh my god! People, they, and, and they're, they're actually like survivalists. Yeah, too. And they're sick, and they're like they're like, bro, your foot's about to fall off. They're like, no, I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. Are you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> See, they were done up, bro. Hundred percent on that one. <sighs> like for me, at least, zero percent chance of living. Would you? How long do you think I survive? You said two days. Like realistically, two I'd days. I want to quit crazy. in two days, but um, <laughs> survive. I think I'd starve. You I'd starve, starve yourself? To death. Oh. No, I'd starve to death. I just do. I like do the way that they get food in that show is insane. Like they just, like sit there and hunt fish for hours. I know. And maybe they don't even get anything. I think once I get like too many bugs, like if I get like bitten up like in the area, like yeah, in my man's, def- like I'm you done. Probably will. They're just everywhere. That's what I'm saying. You're, like, when you're sleeping, you're done for. Like I wake up food. itchy as fuck. Yeah, I'm yeah, done. Your food, bro. Yeah, I think I. Yeah, I think that's the one that we really can't get through. Yeah. Like everything else is like yeah, is up maybe, in the air. This one is to. definitely not fear. Yeah. This and like freaking American Ninja War or Ninja Warrior is but like even that maybe that's a better chance than this shit. Naked and afraid, done. Oh hell no, bro. Case. All right, so damn. So that was the last ones, but so now we can get into some controversial topics, mm-hmm, right? This mm-hmm. is people. I got some new. We got some things we're gonna talk about because Jason always want to be controversial on I the do, podcast. I love to. So we got a lot of things we gotta talk about. So the one of the topics I was gonna talk about was um was freaking. So Brittany Brittany Grind is back home, bro. Let's talk about it. How you feel about it? Dumb bitch. First and foremost, <laughs> first and foremost, I don't even like drugs. You're fucking. No, I mean not. There's probably a lot of. Let me get this straight. I think you're sh- you're dumb to even take anything fucking illegal in anywhere into Russia. Yeah. How stupid do you got to fucking be? Mm-hmm. One, two. On what planet do you think it is worth it to trade Brittany Reiner for anybody that belongs to a different country? What the fuck do we gain from a goddamn basketball player? Are you nuts? Because you know who we traded? Yep. A, a fucking Russian arms dealer. Are yeah. you stupid? Uh-huh. What do we gain from a fucking female basketball player? See, that was a... We could have... There, there's definitely other people that we could have traded, but, like, they was not going to take them. But, look... Then keep her. Then keep her, bro. But, like, you know what What was being crazy? What they was talking about? So, I guess a Marine went out there a couple years ago for yeah. a wedding, and they thought he was a spy, Got to, gets arrested, he's in there for 20 years. Yeah. And they didn't even help him. No. But a WNBA player? I'm telling you, look, this is why I think this is why I think it was. I think Joe Biden got a little he got peer pressured. Hundred percent peer pressured by social media, bro. Cause I get I'm, I'm not even into politics, but I think I'm Joe not. Biden's a fucking <laughs> point blank peer because he's stupid. And even if my grandparents watch this, which they usually do, <laughs> and they hate Trump, you know, whatever. Trump would never. And that's just the truth. I don't like Trump. Don't get me wrong, oh, yeah, guys. I don't don't we, think I'm a Trump yeah, supporter. We, we're not, we hate Trump we're over not. here. But he would fucking never. He would never trade a goddamn WNBA player for a fucking Russian arms dealer in his life. He would be like, keep her. Fuck it. Because it's a smart thing to do. Like, what are you doing giving up someone so valuable to them? What is valuable about Britney fucking... Is that the most valuable person that we had from them? I'm I guessing. don't know. I have no idea. But Probably it, it sounds them. pretty fucking valuable to me if he's a Russian arms Didn't dealer. did they make like a movie about him? I don't know. I think they did. But like... What do we gain? What's valuable about her? We gain morality. 
<laughs> I'm not happy. Half the world isn't happy. Now, if it was LeBron James, you could give him Putin. Give him the, <laughs> the worst of the worst. We need LeBron James. Now, like, a WNBA player is insane. See, I what I also say was there's – at the end of the day, she did break a law. So you yes. have to respect that. Yes. And, uh, like, people – like, I guess social media was just saying it's because of the war and they're trying to keep her there because, like – have leverage yeah. but like like i said before this could be just another strategy to get us into war because now you got this guy mm -hmm. knows every thing about deal weapons and things like that now he's gonna come back for us and yeah. now we have to get into war eventually yeah. but then i think they had an interview with them the other day and they was asking like how his time was in in prison he's seen that america was he said america was losing like their faith or something like that like they're going against like christian beliefs or things i don't know what he was talking about it was some weird shit i guess like in the prison systems like there it's like Oh, this is what he said. He said that it was kind of creepy. He said that, you know how we always, they always, everybody in the world looks up as America as like the big shiny house on the hill. But now it's starting to look like everybody's starting to get up to them at a point. Yeah. Like everybody's starting to reach that level. And he said that it's time for Russia to get off his knees to America. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That sounds kind of crazy. You see what I mean? And look at what we just released. We don't know what Brittany Reiner's doing. Or what, what's Reiner? Her? Reiner, whatever her Brittany name is. Reiner. You know what she's probably doing? <laughs> Smoking another dab pen. Like Not said, talking about Russia. Nigga like said she going crazy on our wife with the, with the strap. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is crazy Niggas can't let her live bro yeah, Niggas the TikTok Talking about her first game back And the crowd's empty It was an empty stadium <laughs> Chill bro Chill bro It was uh, like Come on bro This I, dude's talking about Literally getting off his knees To make America pay Or whatever the hell he's talking it about It was like And she's literally being a <laughs> Like that's what we got in return Bro what I don't know bro Like I Like I, like, I don't wish any bad on nobody Like Don't get us wrong people But it's just like I don't know. It's not a good trade, bro. It's it's just not. It might maybe one of the worst trades in history. It's terrible trade, bro. We gain nothing from a fucking WNBA player. And like the joke about LeBron, even if it was a LeBron James, we gain nothing. This is it's above fucking. That's how. That's how. So that's really why social media is so powerful. Yeah. No. It's, just think about it. Like if it wasn't, hand. if it really wasn't for that, like nobody would ever know, or nobody would really care mm, about it. No. Like WNBA, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't give a shit. So it's like. But hey, she's back home. Good for her. All that stuff. Yeah, it's all it's 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 over. We can't do nothing about it. We can't we get no say in it. No fuck, we don't. But and then I was also looking up. We I was gonna talk about the UFC. Do you think the UFC is rigged? Um, after fucking last Saturday, bro. I think it was rigged. It has. I think they're pushing their cash cows. Yeah, as they should. Yeah. Oh, but it's bullshit. See, like in a sport like that, you cannot do that. That's what I'm saying. Especially it's. It's really hard to rig it, but it's like if you do, it's really obvious. Like for say, the well, I don't know if it was the first fight, but it was the the, the kid. He was yeah, like seventeen year old. He's like seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. Not, uh, submissions the guy in like thirty seconds. Yeah. The dude's like thirty. I'm like, all right, bro. This looks kind of weird because first of all, he didn't really have him in like a mean like a crazy mm -hmm. chokehold for real. He, he didn't have him under the neck at all. He didn't. I. I mean, I mean maybe like to assume is maybe his neck was just maybe he's just uncomfortable as fuck. Because again, if you don't have another neck and you're cranking, it's still uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So it might be enough to make a you know a guy tap. But I mean, he's a perf he's a fucking he's a perf UFC. he's a thir he's thirty years old. Like he's supposed like this is he's been in the UFC yeah, for a minute. You telling me thirty seconds to an eighteen year old? That that's one that could have been that. And then the the uh, Patty way too obvious. That was too obvious. I'm not even gonna lie. Even Joe Rogan knew. You seen there's a video of him? No. There's a video of Joe Rogan like. In the cut, like somebody was recording it when they say patty fight, and he was like, yeah. like in shock, like what the fuck, like yeah, he was like, bro, he was. Bro, are you kidding me? He he basically, I don't even know what he did that was really that good. Nothing. Like, like I like Patty. I'm, I yeah, he's a cool he, dude, cool charisma, everything. But he did not win that fucking fight. He didn't. There's no way he didn't. And it's basically they're looking at him as like Conor McGregor 2.0. Yeah, that's exactly why they're pushing him. He's a cash cow. Mm -hmm. so and then, and then the last fight. That was that's when I was like I didn't even think the Patty one was that rigged until I, I started looking at it after the 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 main event fight the title fight. I that, fell asleep. That, unfortunately. Bro, that Russian guy got fucking robbed, bro. Really? Like so bad. So the first two rounds went to um I can't I don't know their names. It's the um the the I know who they are. It's the light heavyweight champion, the the Polish dude. I forgot what his name was. He, he fought. He's not fight. Well, the old champion. He was he was a former. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he fought Adesanya. You know what his name is. Oh, the dude for uh, the Polish dude. I forgot what his name is. No, I, but you know what I'm talking about, though, yeah. right? So him versus this Russian dude. He's like, 
He won his last. He has like a nine fight uh, win streak, shit like that. He comes in first two fights, the the Polish guy spams hella leg kicks. You know his legs all fucked up. Yeah. But then the last two rounds, the dude literally had him on the ground for eleven minutes. <laughs> eleven minutes. Yeah, that's eleven minute ground control. It's very big points. That's what I'm it's saying. Octagon control, ground control, aggression control. It's a lot of points. eleven. And then even the Polish dude was like, nah, he won that shit. They they called the tie. Really? It was so bad, bro. Like the like the Polish dude, he was like he was like he don't speak English, so yeah. he was telling his translator like I don't know if I'm gonna come back here no more after this one. Yeah, it was that bad. Like I'm like a tie. I'm like I've not, never even seen a tie in the UFC. I've seen. Was that a tie? There was no. That was boxing. That was boxing. That was boxing with the Tyson Fury and uh, Deontay Wilder. I think I think that was a tie. I've never seen one of one of those two was a tie. But yo, I felt really bad for that nigga, bro. Like he was really like I'm telling you like. They took his legs were shot like he like so many leg kicks so he decided to take it to the ground that's the smart way to yeah. do it had him there for eleven minutes not moving like he had him for a whole round at one point on the ground like as soon as it started boom yeah. but he didn't win I'm like yeah nah that's when yeah, I realized that's, that's when I realized you know what they're starting to it's starting to be a little obvious now they're trying to I just get don't more think you get away with that in the UFC because it's too clear who won really. exactly like it's way too clear like in the NBA you could obviously have one team just miss a couple shots but you never know because mm-hmm. you know it's whatever it's, it's it part happens. of the game that right there bro you could clearly there's only one thing to look at mm-hmm. and it's these two beating the shit out of each other and one dude clearly gets beat more exactly but Hey, these niggas got Dana White got all the motherfucking money and shit like sure that. Sure, he fucking does. So well, he's probably, dumb, bro. Like I, I thought he paid that other guy, the first dude that lost to the kid. He probably paid him a little more. Like gave him like a 100%. little, little bonus. Like, oh look, first he, of all, that kid looked crazy. I know. I'm not. <laughs> I know. I mean, not. Let me not. <laughs> but hey, bro. Shout out to them niggas, bro. But I don't yeah. know. UFC looking kind of weird. After I seen that one, I felt yeah, so no, bad. That pay per view was hella fishy. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what was going on. I felt bad, bro. I felt bad, bro. Very weird pay per view. But I got I got nothing we can talk about. I have another actual. Oh no, actually. Oh, here's here's another con. This is the one controversial topic I wanted to talk about for you, bro. Mm-hmm. So, what's one celebrity that everybody hypes up, thinking like, oh, they're the baddest girl in the world, but they're really not all that. I spice Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi B is a good one. But the, the one I was gonna say, the niggas gonna crucify me for this one if I post this on. I was gonna say Beyonce. I ain't gonna lie. You can't post that. I can't. I can't. I can't. Delete the VOD. <laughs> they're about to put you on the they cross. They're going to put me on the cross. All right. See, look, look, look. Oh, my God. I, it hurt me saying this. This is why I didn't want to. I was going to talk about this with Tommy hey, you're UJ. You're crazy. No, they would kill you. <laughs> they would kill you, bro. UJ would be like, it's because she's black. You don't want to root for the black one, bro. She didn't. See, maybe maybe I'm thinking about it as of now. Mm-hmm. But maybe maybe back then. But they be still sweating her now. I think oh, that's God. that's kind of. Past, I think we're past the. the oh, hundred percent, we are. That, What's the last thing you did? I'm sure somebody in the comments will be like, "Lemonade or some bullshit." I don't know, you're probably gonna tell me a fucking album. No one cares. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was gonna say Rihanna too, but I, I had to think about that one. Rihanna goes crazy. Yeah, no, I had to think about that. I had to think. I had to think about that one. Did you say you said Ice Spice? Yes. You think she over? <laughs> if she didn't look good, you niggas are not jacking her. Her music oh, no, is I'm fucking saying, terrible. I'm saying, as in, like. Like everybody thinks she looks good, not as where they're, oh. they're performance wise. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose does look good. <laughs> and so somebody that everybody thinks it looks mad good. Oh, but you looks think, good. Oh, yeah. Cardi B, hundred percent. Yeah, Cardi B. Ugly. But do you think it's because of the all the do- the Botox and shit like I think that? She was ugly when she first came out. Oh, really? <laughs> ugly personality, ugly hair. Who else? Let me really think. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is bad. Think so? Not as bad as everybody says she is, but Jeez. she looks good. Is it? Is it because of the? The additions, bro. Niggas are about to be in the comments, like, bro, you're ugly. You couldn't even pull. <laughs> like, all right, it's still ugly, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> it's just our opinions, people. It's nothing crazy. The Beyonce think, one. Let me, let me look a female, female celebrity. Yeah, just look it up real quick. And for the ladies, niggas, Jack Harlow. Why y'all sweat Jack Harlow so much? I don't know why. Bro. He's <laughs> an the? average white guy. <laughs> like, with with the curls, fuck? Jack Harlow. Freaking um, who else? Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Oh, the white girls love Harry Styles and shit like that. Oh, fuck. Angelina Jolie's ugly. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> yeah, she's ugly. <laughs> oh shit. Hold on, let me look up. Let me. Amber Heard looked good. <laughs> nah, I was really scared to say the fucking Beyonce one, my nigga. No, you're about. I'm not gonna lie. They're about. To, they're about to blow you up, bro. Boy. Look at Beyonce right now, bro. Look at oh. like like look up yeah, look at Beyonce right now, bro. 
<laughs> Come on, bro. No, she kind of looks crazy. Like, 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 be honest. Yeah, I don't. I, well, I never thought she looked that good. I'll be honest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yo, guys. I'm like, like, I'm. I'll be honest. I'm not saying she's ugly. I'm not saying that at all, people. I'm just saying she's not as hyped up. Everybody says she is. Yeah, she's definitely. I'm just not. like, come on, bro. You just gotta be honest. Oh, fuck, I gotta fight. What is it all white women? <laughs> fuck, can I get any? I mean, let me look up black female celeb. <laughs> Because Nigga's gonna put us On the cross And Jada I'm Jada Pinkett Smith's ugly Oh yeah Holly it's Berry's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Hudson's ugly Jennifer Hudson Yep Queen Latifah ugly I don't think Queen Everybody say Queen Latifah bad <laughs> yeah, no one's Meg Thee Stallion She is ugly <laughs> Oh my god bro. No, stop. She Meg Thee Stallion bro Oh my god bro Mariah Carey Is ugly Oh. Now, yes. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, they gonna cancel us, bro. Yeah, not that up. You're ugly as fuck, bro. Hey, All bro, right. took my dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, we gonna give her. We gonna give her one more, just so they don't <clears throat> got too much shit on us, bro. I'm just, I don't know, bro. Like just the Beyonce thing. Maybe back in the days, like when Beyonce was doing the all the single ladies, maybe. But now you can't tell me, like, like if I hear, oh, Beyonce's a bad girl in the world, I'm judging you. Nah. That just ain't true because Janae goes this. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Beyonce, ah, uh, it's, yeah, no. it's overrated, bro. It's overrated. Yeah, I agree. I'm just I saying agree. overrated. I'm not saying she's ugly. Don't 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 twist my words around. I'm just saying it's overrated. It's about the cookie boy. Oh god, the what's it called? The Beehive. Yeah. Queen Bee. That's crazy. Oh well, that's tough. All right, bro. So, so would you rather? All the criminals in the world be released right now, or every bug in the world is trying to kill us. <laughs> Good, release the criminal. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that too. Oh, I can't do bugs. But just imagine how the world would be if all the criminals is released. Fuck it. We don't even know who was who was in there for real, bro. There could be so many serial killers. Like, like the population. Cause that could low key like help the population go down. <laughs> no, they they would run us. They would run us clean. Like, think about it, bro. All the all the freaking. There's a lot of there's a lot of smart people in okay, prison. But imagine every bug that you see on day to day is out to get you. It's okay. Like, I can't. Like look, it's, I'm it's, being hunted. You're being hunted by ants. Just step on them. Not just ants. Mosquitoes, okay, that, that's what I'm saying. Wasps, Mosquitoes is bad. But like, like lantern flies. But think about it. if you're in the if you're in the winter, you're cooling in the winter time. In the winter, you're cool. That's cooler. Now wait till spring. So spring when the spring sprouts and it's hot, that's when you really can't. You gotta have bug spray on you on all de- all times, bro. No, I'm bunkering you, up. <laughs> I'm going into the Tyrone's Doomsday Bunker. No, you bro. can't go into a Doomsday Bunker for some bugs, bro. You gotta okay, fight back, my nigga. Bro, imagine a worm trying to, like, a bunch of worms trying to bring you down. Bro, you could. A oh. coalition of worms? You could, <laughs> could, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> bro, just step on them things, bro. I don't think you understand. Probably how many bugs there are probably in the house tr- there's, alone. Okay, there's probably trillions and of bugs in the world. They're out to get you, they're everywhere. That's like in my house too. I'm sure there's a bunch of <laughs> bugs I just don't see or know about. And if they were actively trying to hunt me, I'd see every one. There's probably over a hundred. Has, has to be. But at least, but if it's like, bro, I'm telling, you, like with the criminals, it's not just freaking crazy niggas that shoot people. There's people that that make inventions that get put in prison because they're too dangerous. Like, this, just imagine, bro. She would just start going left. <laughs> like niggas are like putting us in new dimensions. Bro, it's survivability versus comfortability. I'd rather be comfortable. Oh my god! Because <laughs> yeah, dude, I can't. I can't dude. Nigga, just pick comfortability. You can't sleep. You can't. <laughs> Nigga, getting the jitters leader, right bro. now. Yes, there's gonna be a centipede leader. See, I'm just gonna be afraid of the spiders. There's gonna be ants riding spiders. Oh. With battle spears. <laughs> nah, bro, them just sticks though. Nah, you can survive the bugs, bro. I can't. What, like what's the what's the worst bug? Just the just the venomous ones. Maybe maybe a tyrant. There's no fucking spiders. That's the worst thing. That's it. They there's no mosquitoes. You HIV. Could, bro, you could kill AIDS. mosquitoes off. You got bug spray. You you have them little. You don't know when they're coming. You don't feel them. They still just transfer a, illness to you immediately. Look, think about it. I'm I'm gonna have the little land, them little bug zappers. <laughs> They still bugs, bro. They are still bugs. I'll keep that shit in my room. They just gonna keep dying, bro. You just have a, there's gonna be a pile of, of mosquitoes on the floor. I'd have a flamethrower. The flamethrower. Yeah, so you rather so you gonna let all the prisoners go? Bro? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I can't. <laughs> Damn, I can't, bro. I can't. Bugs the, are insane. Who's even in prison right now? Like, 
free all them niggas, bro. Fetty Wap. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> now, keep that nigga in there, bro. <laughs> is, so, he, is he like that? No, I think he is. I think he was selling drugs. Fentanyl. How do you, how do you drop Sweet Yams? I think I think uh I think he recorded before and his mm. uh label dropped it. Or some shit. I don't know what the fuck going on, bro. That that's actually a good question. Cause I was like, wait. I thought he was locked up. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, we was about to see him in uh, Philly. Bro. Fuck Fetty Wap. Fuck Chris, bro. I'm so tired of that nigga bringing that shit up. What? You don't really care about no fucking Fetty Wap. This is the last time I could have seen him, bro. Now he's locked he talk- up. Who gives a fuck? He talks about nigga. that stuff? Yes. He talked about the last time I saw that nigga. I was like, bro, you understand the situation we were all in? No one really wanted to go out. Let's be honest. We were just going for your birthday. We love you. No doubt. He's probably yeah. not even going to fucking watch this. Probably am I kidding? <laughs> fucking. Dude. And like. I feel bad because Bash actually bought a ticket. <laughs> it was hella bread. There was nowhere. There was nowhere to park. There was nowhere to park. No, like it was bad. Like bad, bro. Like it was like a, next to a fucking parkway. Were you in my car? Yes. So you see, I was sitting in the middle, hot as fuck, between Bash and Ish, not saying a fucking word. <laughs> we're sitting there, happy as shit, about to go see Fetty Wap. <laughs> Those are weird times, bro. Those are weird times, bro. All right, but okay. So I have another survival thing we can do. This is like a survival show for the for this episode. I like it. So. So you have to survive a week as Jeffrey Dahmer's roommate, <laughs> and 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 your money gets quintupled times by five after every day. But you so you start off with a million dollars. How long do you think you can stay there? I'm beating the shit out of that nigga. So you think you can stay the whole week? Yes. <laughs> yes. For that's like I looked it up. So the the first I day I just won't drink anything that I didn't buy from the store. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get dehydrated, yeah. nigga. Like you live with the nigga, like you're in the I'll room. Just... You can't leave. He's giving you food. Oh, we're dead. You think so? <laughs> I can't eat what he gives me, bro. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. See, I just. W- all right. First of all, I'm not gonna. Let I'd that... go as long as I could go without drinking or eating. You think so? Yeah. So how long? How many days do you think that would be? I'm weak <laughs> mentally. So <laughs> <laughs> like a day, two days. Two days. That's five million dollars. Yeah, it's easy money. Easy money. Yeah. Oh, I'm. I want, bro. The seventh day is like a trillion dollars. But can you really? You can't eat anything he gives you. You're done, bro. I'm just. He's gonna like, cook you, bro. I'm first of all. I'm not gonna let that little nigga overpower me, bro. <laughs> there's no way in hell. These. The, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna let this. Oh, I was gonna say some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let that man overpower me. No way. I'm gonna beat his ass, and I'm gonna lay down the laws like yo. You ain't going like you gonna stay on your side. I'm gonna stay on my side. Do not leave that nigga. Don't leave your room. I'm gonna yeah. tell you straight up. I'm gonna really beat the, the senseless out of that. I probably feed him his own drugs. That too. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna find a way. A trillion dollars. Yeah. Bro, I I did the calculation. So the the first day is a million. Second day five million. Day three twenty five million. Day four one hundred twenty five million. Day five six hundred twenty five million. Day six is three billion one hundred twenty five million. And day seven, it, I didn't even pop up on the calculator, yeah. bro. That shit is like fifteen trillion, one point five trillion dollars, yeah. bro. Um, yeah, no, I probably could then. But for that, that's that's um, my motivation, bro. You have, bro. Be, you have to be on edge because I I didn't watch the full show, but I'm pretty sure at one point in the show he takes his own drugs and still kills that nigga. Are you serious? Nah, I didn't see he that. He accidentally part. drinks his own like his own drink. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, still yeah. Still kills that nigga. Oh nah, see. But no, I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. But all right. So what if? Will the circumstances change if you didn't know he was a serial killer? Yeah, <laughs> I'd die. You think he just died? If I trusted him, I'd die. Ah. I made you a sandwich. <laughs> you know, thanks, brother. Ah, oh, hell no, bro. I just want to take some photos. Yeah, that's weird. Why <laughs> you really sound like that nigga, bro? Jeffrey Dahmer, bro. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go at least a week, bro. I'm gonna try to go at least a week, bro. I don't know, bro. But like, I be I be ready for moments, bro. Like, do you ever like think of times like, yo, like there's there's a t- alright. So this, let me tell you this. I was in the shower one time, right? I just thought random, like, what if a nigga came in my crib, started shooting, popping off of my crib? What am I gonna do right now? I'm butt ass nigga. Do? This you getting <laughs> shot? No, no, no. This <laughs> what? is what I thought. I was like, all right, I got I got clothes in here still. I'm gonna mm-hmm. put my clothes. I'm hopping out the window, and I gotta see how many niggas is in here. If it's more than more than three people, I gotta call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> if it's more than three niggas, I gotta call the cops. But if it's like if it's like two, one, I, don't I might. Think, bro, if you don't have a gun, you're fucked. You can't I, you can't kill somebody with a gun. Like, <laughs> people who die with guns in their hands, you're pussy. Like, that's <laughs> bro, I'd be ready, son. Like I'd be like like about to like if I see a nigga point the gun to my face, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, 
Like <laughs> shit like that, bro. Like the fucking uh, what's that? What's that dude from uh, sh- that little police officer that shows like gun training? Bro, I'm, I'm, the, I'm learning. Been from- blicked. <laughs> I'm Look. learning everything he ever taught, bro. I'd be ready Mm-mm. every time. Like, like, if I'm at work, bro, I'd be thinking, like, yo, what if, like, so what if terrorists storm the, the premises of Rutgers North? You're what am dead. I going to do right now? No, bro. You got to be prepared. If you don't have a gun, I'm telling you, you're fucked. Now we're talking about people out of guns. There could be plans. But what would, like, what, like, say, I right, think, right, let's think about it right now. Right now? Why, we're doing the pod. Niggas, come in? niggas storm the front door. What is your, what is your plan? Um, Comply. <laughs> what the fuck? And then maybe if there's an opportunity, go for it. Go for it, nigga. First, but there's a very like there's a very little circumstance in which you're gonna have an opportunity to actually do something. See, see, like this is what I'm gonna. This it's not what, worth it in my life. Th- this is what we're gonna do though. If they just storm in, mm-hmm. we're hopping out this window because mm-hmm. there's a, there's a car right there. We can land on the car. Yeah. We might hurt ourselves, but at least we're out of here. There's only two niggas in the crib. My parents. The problem is, let's say I was robbed. Right. Yeah. And I don't know about your plan. I'm gonna hear somebody's thud outside. <laughs> <laughs> but look, you could still uh, We can still find a way, but maybe yeah, you can no. come out this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'd be preparing myself, bro. Like like I yo, I had a dream the other night. Like like just this <laughs> night, bro. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. I was freaking uh there was a I was at my grandparents' house with my family, Jay was there, and a monster came out of nowhere. Like like the great Kali looking motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, everybody go upstairs. I'm downstairs beating this nigga ass. No, you would I not. I swear to <laughs> God, yo, <laughs> dude. So you're another great Kali would pick you up and just you. Bro, I'm I'm down here like swinging, like rocking this nigga like straight. Like like you ever watch you ever watch um Creed 2 when that nigga yeah. was punching that big ass? I was like that. And then I get him in a rear naked choke. And I'm like, I'm trying to break his neck and I do. But then I get, I'm, we run upstairs. He gets up like the Undertaker. I'm like, oh shit. So we're coming back upstairs, bro. Uh-huh. And like, niggas trying to get through the door. And that's when I woke up, bro. But I'm like, like yeah, that's when you're about to die, bro. Because <laughs> now he's pissed. Like, you're done <laughs> up. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm ready to go, bro. Like, you gotta. No, I've thought about these things. You did. Like, you have to, bro. The problem is, I'm way too overpowered in my own scenario. It's <laughs> not wait, happening wait. in real life. What is your scenario? Like, what is, like, what are you thinking about? <laughs> like what the fuck? If my family tried to get me, <laughs> I told you this, bro. Oh, they like they'll turn on you and yes, shit. They're just like we have to kill them. <laughs> I feel like I clap my family. They really. Like, so I'm, like, what is you gonna like? You're gonna like beat them up or you're gonna? No, I'm <laughs> like it's that simple. I feel like I really had to convince myself that like if it, if push came to shove, I really would. No, I never thought of shit like that. I think of you other. Have ter- to. You have. To. I think of like the terrorist situation, or say like, say like um, say like I just get out of my car. Oh no no no! This is this is the, this is the weird shit I be thinking about, <laughs> because like I be I swear I be thinking I see shit in my crib. Like say I see a ghost, but I can't be scared. So like I teach myself I'm like, all right, bro. If you see some shit, like say some shit running up to you, you gotta tighten up. Like I'm like, no, I have convinced myself that as well. So I live uh, in the basement right now. Yeah. And um, there's like a big backdrop or whatever. Yeah. Have you been to? No, I never been oh. to yet. But I seen this it. It's like where they keep their props because they they shoot professional photos or whatever. Yeah. And there's like you see a little slit over it. Hmm. And I always come up at night. I'm like, if there's something back there, I'm going back and I'm beating the fuck out of it. I'm not letting it terrorize me. Have to, I've had to like build up the courage, but like, I would have to just go back there and beat the fuck out That's of it. That's what I'm saying. Because you're not about to do this in my house. That's there's what no I'm way. saying, like, bro. There's no way. Like, if, like, say, like, like you ever watch the scary movies where the freaking, um, like, uh, like the demons are running after you? Yeah. I can't, I can't be scared to run, bro. That's I just got, I got, I got a man up to him. Like, yeah, all right, bro. If, like, like if I see him, like, yo, I see you there, bro. If you're going to do it, we got to go right now, bro. I was also, I was, yeah, I've been watching scary movies and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, like, why are these niggas hiding? Would you want to know what the killer doesn't expect? A nigga to really come at them. Like, they're not going to expect it, bro. The killer's like, these niggas about to hide. Whoop doo doo. And they kill him. I'm coming for you, buddy. Like, that's it's not going to be the other way around. That's what I'm saying. You got to be ready, people. This is, this is like main character syndrome. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> really main character I like syndrome. to think that I could, but. That's what I'm saying. I, I got to go down like swinging. They just wouldn't expect it. I'm telling, bro, I, I couldn't, like, if I walked into someone's house trying to rob them and they mm-hmm. came after me, I'd be like, oh, fuck. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be in shock. I'm like, yeah. they're going to catch me off guard. I'm like, yeah. I might fumble the gun. Yeah. So you got to, you have, you can't just be scared. But then, but then I'll be afraid, like, damn, what if this shit really does happen? Like, am I going <laughs> to, am I going to crumble under pressure? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. am I going to, like, get nervous? I'm going to, like, start shaking? I would. Oh, that's what I got to, I'll be trying to prote- uh, fucking uh, prepare, prepare myself. Yeah. Right. But, but like, I, like, like, thinking about, like, the ghosts and shit like that, like, it reminded me, I was, I was watching a video today. About like, so it was a guy who thought he had sleep paralysis, right? So, so let me tell you what the story was. So, so he he's like a 
he's an adult, right? But he's he stays over at his mom's house. She has an apartment mm-hmm. just to like you know help her out and things like that. So he spent the night and he stayed in the guest room. So one night he had sleep paralysis, so he couldn't move his body, but he can move his eyes. So he's looking around the room, looking, and he sees like this woman in all black, and just like she looks mad creepy, just standing there. So he's thinking like, oh, this is a dream. But then he starts, he starts um, like. I think he puts his head back down and then he can feel like her walking across the across the bed and like <laughs> she's right there and then he she hops on top of him and then he just screams and then that's when he wakes up, right? So then after that, he's just like, Oh, this is just sleep process, it's just a yeah, dream. That's Things what like I did. That. Yeah, so so then he tells his sister about he didn't he didn't really say nothing about it. And then he t- until he told his sister, he's like, Oh yeah, I had this like crazy ass sleep paralysis dream. She's like, Where? I was like, oh, I was at mom's house. We were sleeping in the, the guest room. She was like, really? I had the same dream. She was like, what's your dream about? Told them the exact same story about the woman in all black jumping on their chests. And like they, the only way they was able to get out was screaming, right? So then her mom, their mom moves to a new crib, a new house. So after, so he thinks all this is like, it's just a coincidence. They're yeah. not really about all the ghost things like that. So now he's like, all right. Now he's staying at her house just to help her move in and things like that. So he falls asleep in the guest room. Same thing happens. So he's he sleep paralysis, but he's like laying down. He can't pick his head up. Yeah. So he's looking around and he could see like so like the doorway is like to his left and he's he could see the doorway. But then <clears throat> nothing's in the doorway and it's just dark. But then he's just looking around, he's hoping he doesn't see the black woman. Oh, that's a black woman. <laughs> the lady in the black dress. <laughs> and he's hoping he doesn't see the lady in the black dress again. But then on the TV, it like it like flickers like the poltergeist type of yeah. shit. And it, it goes up to like a, a security camera footage of the kitchen downstairs. And he sees the, the woman in black walking. And then she <sighs> looks up and looks at the camera and then it shuts off. And then he's like, wait, is she down? She's, he thinks yeah. she's downstairs. And then all of a sudden he hears running. Like like a like a I'd kill myself. like a like an animal and he can't move. Think about it, you can't move and he just hears it. He's just like he's at like praying like she don't come yeah. up here and then he sees her at the door, like at the at the um at the at the foot of like the staircase because yeah. he can see the hallway. He sees it there and then she starts running like like a like there's a dog yeah. in the house. Gets to the door, she's like cr- now she's on now she's like crawling on all fours around the bed. She comes up right next to him right by his face and then he lets out a scream and screams wakes up. And then once he wakes up, he's like, nah, this shit's... Like, before, he was just like, oh, this is a dream. Yeah. And he's like, nah, this shit's some crazy shit yeah. now. And then his mom walks in and was like, yo, are you okay? Why are you screaming? She's like, oh, I just had a dream. He's like, he's like, what was your dream about? And she was like, oh, I, there was like a girl and things like that. She was running through the house. She was like, oh, she was like, nah, I was hearing people running through the house. I thought that was you. And the whole time, like, his mom was in a whole nother room and she heard, like, the whole running through the house. They don't have no pets. And she heard the footsteps. She heard like the banging through like everybody running, like somebody running to the through the hallways. Yeah. And to this day, like they don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, you gotta pack the, mom up, bro. Oh, <laughs> pack, <laughs> pack mom up is crazy. Like just it's imagine, her? That, bro. Just imagine that was you, my nigga. No, I'm not gonna lie. First one again. I just sleep paralysis. Whatever. Well. Mm-hmm. Fucked up. But I'm not gonna lie. The second one is fucking insane. If I saw something. Knowing it's somewhere else in my house, mm-hmm. and then I hear running towards me, like a like an animal, my nigga, like just knocking shit over, like that's crazy, my nigga. I think I would not sleep in a in a crib ever again. No, I would I never would go see back. My mom ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I would never go back because, like, even even if it was like a a coincidence, like that, oh, no. like me and my sister had it, I would still be freaked out. No, it's enough for me to never want to ever do anything. Because she said the again. same exact thing happened. She was in the same spot. Yeah. Ended the same way, screaming, laying on the yeah. chest, bro. No, nah, it's too much. I think that's when I would think, like, yo, you know what? You have to go to church or some shit, brother. Because no, mom doesn't need to exist anymore. Like that's no, oh, it exists is crazy. I love my mother to death. <laughs> but if you got that shit following you, we no longer need to affiliate with each other. Like that's like that's like a demon. Because a lot of people say sleep paralysis is like ghosts, supposedly like taking over your body so you mm. can see them. Because I remember you was talking about like sleep paralysis, like one of your friends had that shit. Never, had sleep I never, like shit. I had it, but I never seen nothing. God forbid, I don't want to see <laughs> yeah. that shit, bro. That's too crazy, my nigga. No, nah, I think for me, it's the it's the visuals or not the visuals, the, the audio. For me, like when I have sleep paralysis, it's usually, I obviously it's scary because I look around my room or not. Yeah, it's what I hear that's fucking insane. Again, there's one time I had sleep paralysis. It was a bad dream. I don't know if I said this before. It was, it was a bad dream. 
parents were in the living room. I yeah. was in the bathroom. And I was trying to flick on the lights. Yeah. But it wasn't working. I was like, hey, guys, like the lights aren't working. They were like, try again. I said, no, nah, it's still not working. And then it was nothing. They didn't say mm-hmm. anything. Right? And then... Obviously, I saw something, but I was like, oh, I'm definitely in a dream. Like, this is weird as fuck, right? But yeah. then my eyes opened because obviously I was terrified. So my eyes opened. Problem is, I could still hear me flicking the lights and whatever was coming, like laughing like, and coming towards me. And But you were awake. Yeah, my eyes were definitely open. I was definitely, I remember exactly where I was. I was in 29 Palms in my room, in my barracks room when I was in the military. And I was on my top bunk, eyes open, looking down. Nothing was there in front of me in real life, but the audio was still happening from the dream. See, and it fucked me up. See, that's why I say a lot of like dreams. Like the, I remember, I was watching a video of somebody explaining what deja vu is, and they said they explained like when you sleep that your mind is like your soul goes to like another dimension, and then like you pick out a certain dimension where you live a life for a second, but you just never remember. And then once you go there, I guess like once you happen, once you like go to that point in time where you picked. That's when deja vu comes. That's why when you ha- like mostly when you have deja vu is like you see shits like from your dreams and shit. Mm. So like that makes me think like what if niggas that really like if niggas could time travel like what if they like kind of uh what if they can like not really time travel as a sense where they're going to that place but they can like they figure out a way where they can like tap into their mind to like overlook and see different time periods. Like, un- unlock, like, a expansion version of Deja Vu. That's actually insane. Like, think about it. Like, yeah. th- like if Deja Vu is where, like, you could see, like, like it's just, like, it's like a random yeah. experience. Like, me just picking up this water bottle. Yeah, and, and you'd then, be like, oh, I've done this before. Yeah, like, so, yeah, but what nice. if, like, time travel is just, like, you seeing a, a lot more, and then you're, like, it's happening, it's going to happen, like, a couple years. Like, you could, like, like maybe train your mind yeah. in some way. I don't know. That's insane. That's some sick way to think yeah, about it, right? Isn't it? Like, I, because I never niggas used to say deja vu was like. I think the the proper thing niggas used to say was um, <clears throat> what the fuck was it? It was like, it was like you and your another one of your lives like met up at one certain time at the same time. And it's like, oh, this is like deja vu because someone another person seen yeah. it. But like, <clears throat> I think because a lot of people think when you go to sleep, it's like your mind, like, goes into the universe. And, like, you start, like, wandering. I think your brain's just massive, and we can't tap into our mind. That's what gets tapped into when we sleep. Oh, you think so? Yeah, 100%. Because we we don't, I told you. Everything we see while we're awake is just the tip of our iceberg. Our brain and our subconscious runs insanely deep. I, I don't know, bro. I just, like... I feel like there's ways Like I feel like the monks I feel like them niggas Could tap into shit like that Yeah Like them niggas that Live in like the Nepal mountains And shit like that That are like That's all they do They train their body and mind That's it mm-hmm. That's what they live for them They niggas, don't do anything Them else. niggas probably got Superpowers and shit I wouldn't be surprised But them they got A nigga like Aang is up there <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you Got the avatar Yeah bro That'd be fire But What do I want to talk about I got, I got another Would you rather question mm. So would you rather <clears throat> Would you rather Be allergic to the sun but when you're allergic to the sun, it causes painful hives and rashes that makes it feel like you're on fire. Or be allergic to all electronic devices. Oh, sun. And it, <laughs> and it gives you sun. a, my, a mind splitting headache nope. that can. Sun. You gonna I take play, the I sun? play video games. <laughs> I'm not going outside. Fuck it. You're not gonna go outside ever? No, I'm Just a vampire. Go out to, oh. I'm a vampire for real. Oh my god. Bro, yeah, Just yeah, imagine, yeah. you can never do nothing ever again. You can't even have a wife. <sighs> Thank you, <bro. laughs> <laughs> Video games is the only thing that keeps my life going. There's nothing else I live for. There's nothing else. I don't live for anything else on this earth, okay? I need video games. I can't. Oh my gosh. I bro. need it. <laughs> Fuck outside. Fuck life. Fuck everything that comes with it. Video games. Let's go in the metaverse. It's just gonna go in the metaverse. I'll, I'll see the sun in the metaverse. <laughs> so you're gonna be allergic to the sun. Fuck it. So what if like you just wake up one morning, the blinds is open. Never that. <laughs> you Shutter gonna, locks. Like, you're gonna have no windows? Yeah, sheet metal over the windows. This nigga's sick. I think I'm a but I'm a, I think I'm gonna pick oh, I can't pick the sun. Cause I don't even think you can't even have a sustainable life. Bro, you have to be a, you have to be Amish. You would literally have to be Amish. <laughs> no more podcast, you're an Amish person. You turn butter. <laughs> I t- <laughs> no more electronics, no light switches. <laughs> No, it was like, oh, I did say electronics, damn. But I think candles, churning butter, build the farm. <laughs> That's your life. Now. That's a bad life. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> niggas go to sleep at like six, <laughs> <laughs> six o'clock, and it's not because they want to; they got to. Yeah. Oh my god! Just imagine being born into that. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, they don't know no better though. They don't know no better. Now people who do know, people who are Amish and know about the outside world, you're weird. That's what I'm saying. They just choose to be Sorry. Amish. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there wouldn't be any Amish viewers because guess what? You can't have technology. <laughs> so fuck them. But it's like, it's like, do you think they don't go to school? Probably right. Home fool. Like what? Like what? Like because I like I've been to. You ever been to like an Amish town? No. I've been to a bunch for for basketball because there's a there's a um facility in. Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and that's Amish country. Like mm-hmm. I'm telling you, people look like they're dressed in the 1980s. Huh. They 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 they, wa- they ride horse buggies and shit like that mm. on the street. That's nuts. It's, it's crazy. So I be looking at the. I'm like, yo, like, like do y'all like do you like do y'all inbreed? Like who like is there like a society? Honestly, yeah, how do they? That's how what I'm saying. They? Is there a society? There has to be. Oh, I might have just uncover such. They think is do an incest over there, bro. Cause like there's not like no. A, I think they have like. They have to have us. Like a community? Yeah, have to. Oh my god. Like what do you think they're racist? <laughs> I'd like to think the Amish are nice people, but maybe. <laughs> I don't know if little... they have any black Amish people. <laughs> I, I haven't know. seen one. That's what I'm saying. But like, okay, look, look, look. See, you know what? I think because there's a lot of people visit the Amish yeah. for like like, you know, like farms and things like yeah. that. So people know like the Amish people know what's on the outside. Mm-hmm. But do you think like they were like, like, say it's a kid. Like, do you think they would want to like sneak out and like get like a phone? Apparently, some Amish <clears throat> cultures and communities allow their kids to go out when they're eighteen for like a week of whatever, and they <laughs> choose to come back or be like banished and go. Live oh, really? Or something like that. Yeah. Oh my God, that's kind of sick. Yeah. Oh, so like they're like. Well, if you're super strict, imagine like you're like, all right, well, you go experience the world. If you like it, go, but you can't live here anymore. We're not, we're not fan because you're not Amish. That's kind of fucked up. You come back. Nigga, that's like that's like putting putting a puppy to the wolves. Yeah, like like these niggas don't know what the hell is going on. They don't even on. know Coca Cola is. <laughs> they don't. don't. No. Oh, that's so ass. Like you think <laughs> you think you think the little Amish keep like when they're in like the little Amish farms and keep the kids inside, so they don't see like oh my, so they don't be asking questions. Yeah, they probably don't go out. Oh, some that. probably do. You know, obviously, it's not say everybody, but yeah, there's probably some families that. Kids do not know what the hell modern society looks like. Would you count that as a cult? Or you think that's a downgraded version? It's like a it's like a lower level. Lower cult. level? Yeah. Because it's like, what are you doing? I mean, I, I won't I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, like you if you wanna practice that stuff because yeah. of you, that's fine. No problem. But like limiting your children or kin, it's fucked up. Like it's like some pe- some Amish people do go out. They have cars. Some yeah, they, Amish people have cars. They go out to buy resource mm-hmm. and then bring it back. I see. Like I see. I, I be seeing them in the mall. <laughs> I seen. I seen them in the mall one time. They that coffin drip. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So yeah. are these kids like looking at like like w- like wishing that they have this stuff? Some probably. You think so? Like like they're I like. Mean, if I was a kid. I would and I'm sitting here, I look at farm, and I see my first video game, be like, what's that? That's bro? what I'm like, saying. I want this. And I'm sitting here, like, go milk the cow. I'm like, fuck. Like, come on. That's what I'm saying. Like, these niggas is like fucking, it's like, it's, like, it's not really, it's just, it's like this, uh, a level above, like, the centennial people. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like No, they're nuts. I, I don't know what they strive for or why they do it, but they do. Hey, I give it to them though. They they keep in the tradition. No, apparently, they go crazy. Like they could build like a farm in like a like, week, right? Fucking big ass barns, or whatever. In, like probably less than a week. So hey, shout out to y'all Amish people. If you crazy. ever get a chance of watching this shit, <laughs> <laughs> if somebody I don't know how the fuck no, you gonna get fuck this, they do not. The fuck I don't know how the do fuck, like they don't even have. Not even got Wi Fi. No. Because like okay, it's good to step away they from. They have technology. no idea what TikTok is. It's it's good to step no away idea. from technology, but they take it to another level. Yeah, no, they don't do anything. Everything has to be hand, like human made. Oh my god! Like it's 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 weird to say, like, like I like um, damn. Dude, man. definitely you might. Depending on how like big you know the clip was, you're gonna have some Amish dude in there. Like I'm Amish, <laughs> I'm, I'm on TikTok right now. He's like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. About to make us look dumb as hell. Like, cause it's, I don't know, bro. It's just I, like they just live off the land and they really just yeah. I don't know. Like uh, even a lot like you, I, I was I don't know if I was gonna talk about the tape. I'll just bring it up. You ever, I was I was I seen some video today that some nigga said. That there is feral people living in our national parks, and that's why people go missing. Feral, like people are like rabid. <laughs> yes. So basically, 
people like they said that there's generations of people that live in the national parks and that's why they make national parks to protect these people and to pr- make sure nobody goes there to be attacked or yeah. by these people basically saying it's like centennial people in like yeah, honestly, the mountains I wouldn't put it past it. Honestly, to say, to say that it doesn't exist is actually far fetched because I mean, there's got to be right. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying with the Amish people. Like, just imagine a group of fair, people, indigenous people that live in the, in the um, in the mountains, rock in the Rocky Mountains, Appalachia Mountains, yeah. and they they don't they, they hunt whatever's in there. So if they see yeah. humans, maybe if They'll they get too, too yeah. go too far in, and it actually lines up really well. So there's a there's a map of. A bunch of people that went missing in the United States, and yeah. that map lines up almost identical to all of the cave systems in the United States. Mm. So that might mean that those these people might be living in those caves and yeah. taking people, because there's a lot of accounts where people go missing in the national parks and they don't their bodies be like miles away, <laughs> like miles. Like yeah, no, who, I wouldn't. Yeah, honestly, like who picked this nigga up and brought him this way? And a lot of people say like they're like they they're not eating, but they got like hit over the head with like a rock. Mm. And a yeah. lot, and I remember there was a time where, I guess I for, I forgot where this was at. It was like maybe in the Rocky Mountains, and like there was people in like the camp, campgrounds, and they had like their kids and stuff. So one of the kids was they're playing hide and seek. So he went to go hide behind a tree, and they was like, "All right, ready? I'm gonna go find you." Couldn't find the kid nowhere. Mm-hmm. Literally seconds, he was gone. A whole manhunt went out for him. They couldn't find him, and then they report people report seeing the kid. Walking with like humans through the forest, like walking side by side. Like I don't know if they picked them up, yeah. grabbed them, but they think that like he got like, yeah, eaten or something. Yeah, that's just, I don't I don't know. This could be yeah, like, honestly, I'm not surprised though. I really wouldn't be surprised at all. You wouldn't be surprised? No, I I don't think I would be either, bro. It's just, just like, and they say like the they say a lot of people like a lot of hikers go into like the national parks and they hear like people screaming for help, but they tell like the the park rangers, but them niggas never like they just they just like oh don't worry about it type shit like that. And yeah. They think the park rangers all in on it like there's a whole scheme. I yeah, I can see it. Like, cause like they, they were saying like park rangers don't leave the parks. Yeah, no, they do live on the parks. Yeah, no, there was an American Horror Story episode about it, like a park ranger. Really? Who knew it was there? It's a bunch of cannibal people. Mm. But like he just stayed in the, like his watch the whole time. Really? So maybe that's just like a way of like telling us the truth, but it's like. Cause that maybe that shit like that. Cause you know they be making movies like you know the wrong turn. Yeah. They make movies about people going to the woods and run into cannibals. Maybe that shit's true, but they're it just has to be. To be I mean, like, why? There's no way it's not real. It's it could. It's like there's something that's taking these people for no reason. Yeah. They they gotta be, especially when if it's happening. Like, there's a whole case about it. There was, I think, since 2017, over 1,600 people went missing and they don't know where their bodies are. Mm. Like, just don't know what happened to them. Like, of yeah. course, a couple of them people may get eaten by yeah. bears, yeah. but, like, they leave a trail. Yeah. These niggas is, is like, just taking them. I, I yeah, don't know, nah. bro. And, I don't know. And animals don't drag their food that far. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I remember, like, and it'd be weird. It's like, they'll just, like, there was a, uh, I remember I'll be watching this dude on YouTube. His name is Mr. Ball, and he talks about a lot of incidents like that. And I guess a ki- a guy got um abducted or something like that from the from the woods and he got found like two three miles away and like his clothes was all taken off and like neatly folded right next to him <laughs> mad weird nah, bro. That's max. and then there was another guy who i think he was um he was walking through california like he tried he was doing a hike from the the bottom of california to the top and as he was going through like he he found like there was like these two people stalking him like that was wearing white robes and, i've heard about this actually yeah, yeah and like he would like he would like to just say hi to them, and yeah. then they'll just be standing there looking at him, and he's mm-hmm. just walking by, and then he'll see another one, and then he see like, and then he'll camp down, and he'll p- hear people walking around him. Yeah. So it's like, yo, imagine like a lot of people think talk about shit like that. Maybe niggas say Bigfoot. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about don't that. About, the Campbell people. That's more that's realistic, possible. especially if like we, we like especially like the Centennial people. Yeah. Like if we we've. We're known for like not leaving people, leaving people alone, and leaving yeah. them their own space. Yeah. But now it's like, and especially with the national parks, they were saying like maybe they start growing over time, so that's why they make more national parks to fit them all in there, type shit. Maybe. I don't know, bro. Yeah. I don't know. That's yeah. No, I wouldn't. I, I actually wouldn't be surprised about that one. That one's the only one I actually heard that was like that's very plausible. That shit creeped me the fuck out. 
But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Nah. You go, y'all tapped up, bro. Yeah. All right. Thank you again for pulling up for another of episode, course, man. Bro. This is a good one. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I did enjoy it. That's good, bro. Um, you want to say anything to the people? Any last words from Jr. Bro? Nah, I was about to I was about to desecrate women, but I won't. <laughs> Love thy neighbor. That's it. Love thy neighbor. Happy holidays from the members. You know what I'm saying. Follow all of our socials down below. I'll put all our socials. If you want to talk to us, you know you can DM us all that good stuff. We always got. We always like talking to people. Did anybody DM you recently, bro? No, bro. Niggas been lacking on me, bro. Hit me up. Fuck. Yeah, bro. We got. We we can talk. We're good That's people saying, to talk bro. to. I'll talk bro. to you all day. If you got topics for us to talk about, because if you want us to talk about some certain things or what we think, put them in the just uh, put them in the Discord. Join our Discord link down below. All that good stuff. Um, what else was gonna follow all? Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Like all that stuff. Follow all the socials and yeah, new merch coming soon. Happy holidays from the Why members. Not? You know what I'm saying? We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster. Gangster.